Hello guys, it's Mashtag here. Today I can proudly present you another ready to go disk image. This time for the RG350M, running Simple Menu as user interface. With Simple Menu, you get a very intuitive menu that supports a big set of themes, so you can personalize it to your preferred look and feel. Beside that, Simple Menu is very much optimized for this device and actually comes along with a lot more features than Emulation Station. This image comes completely set up with a big set of emulators and ROMs, ported games, themes, the HDMI out patch to hook it onto a TV, and the best, almost all game titles are already scraped with box art to give you a better impression of this collection. You just need to flash the image to a SD card, put it into your RG350M and you're ready to go. It was never easier to turn your device into a handy multi-system emulation handheld. I will show you how to flash the image to a SD card and peek into some of the ROMs that come along with this image. Take a look at the pre-installed themes, check out how to set Simple Menu as your default launcher, actually it's pretty easy, and test the HDMI out feature. Now grab your RG350M and let's go through the steps to get this image to your device. If you haven't joined this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any of my further videos. Enjoy! Okay, before we start, let me say a few words. First of all, big thanks to Guy Hall for sharing this image with us and for all the effort he put into it. If you ever meet this guy at Facebook or here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to credit him for the great job he did. Thank you. Now let's start right into this. All we're gonna need is a 64GB microSD card at least for the main image and for the external slot another 32GB SD card. The step with the external SD card is absolutely optional. So if you don't have a second SD card ready, you can leave this step out or come back and do it later. Now take a look into the video description and find the link to the torrent file to download the image. Simply click on download, store the file directly to your PC, switch over to your download folder and open the torrent file with your favorite torrent client. I'm using uTorrent to do this job for me. I've already downloaded the files, so I will skip that part here. After you've successfully downloaded the files, switch over to your download folder. Here you should find a CBMT 3.0 folder. If you open that folder, you will find the CBMT 3.0.image file. This is the image we need to flash to our 64GB microSD card. So insert that 64GB SD card into your PC and open up Win32 Disk Imager. I leave you a link to this tool in the video description. In the top right corner, choose the drive letter of your microSD card. Please double check that you choose the correct drive here. Flashing this image to your PC's hard drive would make your system unusable. The drive letter of my SD card is K, so I choose K from the list. In the next step, left click on the folder button over here and choose the image file from the download folder. After that, we can start the flash process by clicking on write and confirm the next dialog. The whole process took me about 16 minutes, so I will fast forward this step here. After the flash process has completed, you can safely remove the SD card from your PC. Actually, we have the main disk image ready and could already put it back into our RG350M to start it. But let me show you the optional step with the second SD card first. If you like to skip that part, feel free to make use of the timeline feature in this video. Alright, I have a huge 128GB SD card here and that I was not able to format into FAT32 using the tools that come along with my operating system that is Windows 10. So I made use of a mighty tool called Disk Genius. I put you a link to it into the video description. It's completely free. 
After you installed it, just start this Genius and find your SD card in the left side device tree. Select the main partition and right click on it. In the context dialog, choose Format Current Partition. In the next window, we want to choose FAT32 as file system. You can choose a different volume label if you like, but I leave the default name here. Hit the Format button and confirm the next dialog that all files on your SD card will get lost by clicking on Yes. Now that your external SD card is formatted with the correct file system type, we can close Disk Genius. With FAT32 as file system on your external SD card, you can always copy files over easily from your Windows PC. Now switch back to your download folder and open the CBMT 3.0 folder again. It contains a folder called ROM for your external SD card. Simply drag and drop it over to your newly formatted SD card. This step took me another 20 minutes to complete, so I will fast forward it for you guys. After the copy job is done, you should find the four folders for Neo Geo Pocket, PlayStation 1, Scum Virtual Machine and ZX Spectrum in it. You can now close the windows and remove your SD card from your PC safely. Now that both cards are ready, we can put them into our RG350M. The first one we created with the main image to the left internal and the second one to the right external slot. Now let's see what we got and take a look over the features of this great image. When you start your RG350M now, it will launch directly into Simple Menu. Pressing the Start button will open up the settings. From here, you can control the features of Simple Menu. The second entry here lets you choose in between 14 pre-installed themes. You can choose in between them by clicking on the D-pad left and right button and confirm your selection by pressing Start to get into the menu. I'm sure you will find something that will fit to your personal preferences. My favorite themes are the default theme and the GBZ35 Remix theme. You can also play around with the layout if you like, but I like the custom selected layout most. Another two very nice features of this version of Off Simple Menu are the possibilities to easily set the menu as your default launcher simply here from the settings and to enable the HDMI out feature that I will show you later in the video. But for now, let's check out what systems already come pre-installed with this image. Simple Menu comes with 5 sections for different systems such as consoles, handhelds, home computers, apps and games and arcades. Let's check out the pre-configured consoles. This image comes with emulators for the Nintendo and Sega consoles PlayStation, Neo Geo, PC Engine, Atari 2600 and 7800 and ColecoVision. Each system has a big set of ROMs included as you can see here. Some of them have more than a thousand ROMs. And the best, almost all titles are completely configured with box art for you. Same with the handheld section. It comes with the Nintendo handhelds Game Boy and Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, Sega's Game Gear and the Neo Geo Pocket, also with huge sets of ROMs. As arcade emulators we got Final Burn Alpha with the Metal Slug and Street Fighter series, Daphne with Dragon's Lair and Space Ace and the Mami emulator with many many ROMs. Finally let's check the ported games that come along with this image. Here we got are Ken Weed, Cave Story, Goals and Ghosts, Open Sonic, Quake 2, Streets of Rage Remake, Shadow Warrior, some Zelda ports, Block Rage, Devolution X, a great Diablo 1 port that I can only recommend to you, Duke Nukem 3D, a ported version of Metal Slug, Open Tyrion, Sonic Robo Blast 2 and VVVVV, or however it is called. All these great games and ROMs already come pre-installed and set up with box art with this image. 
Last but not least, let's connect the RG350M to a TV or monitor and test the HDMI out feature. Simply switch on the HDMI out option in the settings of simple menu and hook your RG350M onto a TV. Choose your favorite game from the list and enjoy all your ROMs on a big screen.
As you can see, this image comes with a lot of great features like the automatic start into simple menu, the HDMI out for playing on modern big screens and a ton of games with box art. Once you've downloaded this image, it will save you days if not weeks of configuration time. If you like this video, let me know with your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my further videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day and enjoy your RG350M. Bye!